Back in the 1960s, I wrote a book called The Naked Ape. This is the title I gave to human beings because I was looking at human beings as a zoologist looks at animals. And I concentrated on the things that we share with other animals, behavior such as uh, eating, sleeping, mating, fighting. But I left out of that book the unique features of our species. And now in my new book, The Artistic Ape, I'm focusing on one of those unique features, our fascination with the thing we call art. What is art? That was my first challenge to find a definition. It took me a month just to get one sentence which defined art for me in a way that satisfied me. Having got that definition, I then started to explore the whole world of art. And it's a very, very long story because it begins three million years ago. That may surprise you, but I have held in this hand a three, three million year old art object. It was a found object found by an ape man and taken back to his cave where he kept it as a treasured object. And from there I've moved on through prehistoric art, looking at cave art and rock art, and then on into uh, traditional art, modern art, uh, the great revolution of the 20th century when photography took over the role of recording uh, the outside world. And so artists felt free to explore and they explored in many different ways. In the 20th century, there were 81 different art movements, believe it or not, and I've had to simplify that down to the few basic trends that occurred in that century. It was quite a challenge, but uh, I think I've, in the end, managed to put together all these elements in the story of art that will reveal not uh, art history, there are plenty of books on art history, but will reveal instead what art is about, why we produce art. What is this impulse that human beings have to, to create visual art? And I've also looked at folk art because all over the world people who are not involved in the professional art are making art objects, are, are making strange costumes or uh, decorating their vehicles or, or doing something which reveals a deep-seated compulsion of the human species to make the environment they live in more visually exciting. That's the essence of art. And all through this book, I've tried to write not an art book, but a book about art, telling you what art is. Picasso was once asked uh, the question, what is art? And he said, I don't know, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Well, I do know, and in The Artistic Ape, I've done my best to tell you.